was rooting around in the freezer this morning, uh, wondering what to cook for supper, and that's when I found this little piece of brisket. Here's how I cooked it. This recipe is dead simple. Started with some onions, and I just sliced those up. I put some clarified butter in the bottom of this cast iron enameled brazier. You could use any pan that you can put in the oven and seal tightly. Now that was on medium low heat. I threw in the onions and stirred them around until they had partially caramelized. Uh, this takes a long time. Don't do it too fast. Don't burn the onions. You just want sort of a light caramely color on them. When those were just about done, I salt and peppered the brisket. And then I took the onions out of the pan. Put in a little bit of vegetable oil and cranked the heat up to medium high. Then I put the brisket in and lightly browned it on both sides. You don't need a whole lot of browning, just a little bit to get it started. I took the brisket out of the pan and then I poured in some of our homemade beer. This is a fairly light tasting beer, not too heavy on the hops. You don't want to get that extreme hop bitterness in this dish. That's when I put in some Worcester sauce, some grainy mustard. The beer came up to a boil, I stirred it around to get some of the bits off the bottom. And of course a little bit of Marmite. You're not gonna taste the Marmite, it's just going to lift all of the other flavors in this dish. Threw the onions back in. Put the brisket on top, put a lid on it, and stuck that in the oven for about three and a half to four hours. And that's it. Beautiful, rich sauce with the caramelized onions and the mustard. Unbelievably tasty. Let's give that a try. Mm. That's wonderful. Deep, rich, great flavor. And I know that there's a lot of people that are worried about Marmite. I'm with you. Marmite tastes horrible. On its own, it's one of the worst things I've ever tasted. Probably the second worst thing I've ever tasted. Um, uh, maybe the third worst. The worst would be um, Hakarl, which I had in Iceland, which is, uh, which is a, a fermented shark. Uh, the second worst would be uh, fermented tofu that's deep fried. Um, that's pretty bad. Marmite on its own, or Vegemite on its own, absolutely horrible. But when you put it in something like this, it becomes a supporting player, and it really brings up all of the other flavors. So, don't skimp on the Marmite, give it a try. Um, this is a great, easy weeknight meal. And you know what, you could do this in a, um, you could do this in a slow cooker if you wanted to. Fully adaptable to a slow cooker. Just fry up the onions before you go to work, stick it in the slow cooker, and it'll be done when you get home. Um, give this one a try. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.